Good morning everyone. Today in this lecture, in this video, I am going to explain the precision of your rectifier. Okay. Why we are going to call this as a precision of your rectifier? Because by using a single diode and one resistor, we can make a rectifier. But there is a limitation by using a single diode. That is, it is not possible to rectify below less than the 0.6 volts why because the minimum voltage is required to switch on the diode is 0.6 volts approximately equal to 0.6 volts if the signal amplitude is less than 0.6 volts it is not possible to rectify the signals such type of signals it is not possible to rectify and even it is not possible to clamping it is not possible to clipping also then here in this precision of a rectifier, I am going to make a circuit by using a op amp. See this circuit in this by using op amp, we are not going to bother about the 0.6 volts across the diode. The complete current or component voltage is provided by the op amp. This combination by using op amp and a single diode we can call as a precision diode. Okay, here we can observe the off wire rectifier circuit by using op amp. Here in this circuit, we can observe here D1 and D2 are two diodes I am going to use. D2 is the diode I am going to use in the feedback path, and D1 is the diode across the output terminal. Now I am going to apply a sinusoidal signal. Here I am not going to mention any voltage, peak to peak voltage, but consider that voltage is less than 0 0.6 volts only for example 100 millivolts to minus 100 millivolts okay this is the signal i am going to apply uh, before going to analyze this operation of this half wire rectifier see in this input side a positive cycle is there and negative cycles are there what will happen if you are applying positive cycle during positive cycle what is the output during negative cycle what is the output that we are going to see in different in two cases see in the first case affected during positive cycle this is the circuit i am going to apply only positive cycle see here you can observe only positive cycle i am applying to the input now initially this op amp will act as a comparator forget, forget about this feedback path any op amp that will initially that will act as a comparator what is the operation of comparator it always compares the voltage across the positive terminal and negative terminals if positive terminal is greater plus v set is the output and if uh, negative terminal voltage is greater minus v set you will get generalized here positive positive voltage is applied across the negative terminal and zero potential is applied to the positive terminal because of this minus v set i will get across this output terminal minus due to this minus v set d1 is going to be off and d2 is going to be on this will act as a short circuit path now the current path you can observe here if d diode d2 is on it provides a low resistive path it provides a low resistive path whatever the current coming from v in the total current is going to be flow through the r1 and d2 and to the op amp internally there is a circuit in the op amp there is a ground this op amp will act as a sink there is no current flow through the r2 that's why there is no current flow through the r2 and there is no output see this there is no output output simply a zero volts now in the second case of a rectifier during negative cycle during negative cycle observe here I am going to apply only negative cycles negative cycles to the same input terminal negative terminal ok negative values because of this zero potential is greater plus v set you are getting d2 is going to be off and d1 is going to be on now see the circuit will act as a inverting amplifier the total current there is a path there is a path to the current flow from input to the output side that is r1 r2 and the output side this will act this sir complete circuit will act as a inverting amplifier we know the formula of inverting amplifier generalized formula v out is equal to minus r2 by r1 into v in here i am going to consider if 
r1 is equal to r2 kn is equal to minus 1 that is nothing but v out is equal to minus v in here it is a neg negative cycle I'm applying that's why minus v in I will get across the output that is positive cycle I'm getting is that clear because of this inverting amplifier this negative cycle is completely converts to positive cycle that means it provides 180 degrees phase shift now you can observe the total waveform I'm going to combine during positive cycle as well as negative cycle see this is the total waveform of half wave rectifier during positive, positive cycle see observe here there is no voltage across the output during negative cycle we will get a positive peak cycle and uh, during again positive cycle there is no voltage and this is so on ok this is half wave rectify we can apply less than 0 0.6 voltage signals also by using this op amp but there is a limitation based upon the op amp it is not possible to apply I think below less than 15 micro volts it is not possible to around for a consider Okay, thank you.